I got these coasters for uh, housewarming, but they came without a holder, so I thought I would make one. I started by modeling a cube and then making it hollow. I decided to cut off the corners to save plastic, but I'm not sure that was the best idea because when you want to grab them, you're, the tabs kind of ended up where you want to grab. So I'd like to move these into the corner. The other problem is I must have measured the smallest coaster when I was making this because some of them are actually much bigger and they push these tabs out or they might not even fit if you put them in in the wrong order. So I'd like to make it slightly bigger. I left the bottom hole. I don't think I needed to do that because it just wasted a lot of plastic and there's no real reason for it to be solid like this. So I'd like to make some sort of hole in the bottom. Uh, let's go to Fusion 360 and I'll model up the new version and we can talk about what I'm changing. I have my original project open here. So this was the coaster holder we were looking at earlier. I also just did a mock-up to make sure I knew how to how to do this before showing you guys, but we're gonna do it again from scratch. So I'm gonna start by making the cube that we're gonna cut everything out of. So I'm gonna make a new sketch from the top and we'll get the centered rectangle. I'm gonna go from the origin outward and we're gonna make this 115 by 115. And we'll stop the sketch. I'm gonna select the surface and hit E. Um, and we're going to make this a 50 millimeter tall cube. So now we have the cube that we're gonna cut everything out of. Uh, we're gonna go back from the top and actually cut it out now. So I'm gonna do another sketch from the top with the center rectangle again, same idea. But this time we'll make it 110 by 110. And we'll finish that sketch. I'll select that surface and hit E for extrude. And we're gonna go negative 47 because we wanna cut down into it. So now I've left basically a three millimeter bottom and five millimeter walls, and we have a hollowed out cube. Next thing I wanna do is take the chunk out of the walls that we talked about earlier. So I'm gonna do another sketch from the top and um, I'm kind of, I believe there was probably a better way to do this, but I don't know what that way is yet, so um, bear with me. I'm gonna make a two point rectangle, uh, then I'm just gonna dimension it. So from this edge to this edge, I want to, this to be 20 millimeters. I'm gonna do the same here. So what this is gonna do is it will cut out the a chunk in the wall where this rectangle is, but it will leave 20 millimeters from each interior wall. And then I just want to make sure that it cuts all the way through the cube. So I'm also going to make it 200 millimeters. And I will say that it's going to be 100 millimeters here just to make sure it's centered. I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing for the other direction. And we'll stop the sketch. Now I'm gonna go ahead and select all the faces that were made by those two rectangles. I'm gonna hit E, and we'll raise this by 47. That's gonna go ahead and cut the holes in the walls. So this is looking pretty good, a lot like what I wanted it to look like. Let's go ahead and cut that hole in the bottom. Um, so we're gonna go from the top again. I'm gonna do another centered rectangle. And this time we will make it 75 by 75. So I'm gonna stop that sketch. And we'll select it and hit E. And I'm just gonna go negative 10, just to make sure it cuts all the way down through. Okay. So this is looking pretty good. We have the hole in the middle to save plastic. We have plenty of space between the two edges to pick up the coaster, but uh, I'd like to make it just look a little bit nicer. So I'm gonna go ahead and select these edges that are on the center. Go ahead and select those same edges on the outside. And I'm gonna go to modify and select 
chamfer. So this is going to make like a beveled edge on uh, each of these edges. If we make it three millimeters, that will go from the from the bottom of the holder all the way down to the table. And I think that looks pretty nice. I'm going to go ahead and do it for the edges of the corners as well. Just holding down shift to select these edges. We'll go to modify again. And this time we'll just do one uh, millimeter just to give them a little bit of a bevel, but not too much. And that's pretty much it. Here's the finished product. I really like how it turned out. It's much easier to grab the coasters than it was before the change. And also I think these chamfers came out much nicer than the rounded edges. And putting a hole in the bottom did seem to save a good amount of plastic. And I think it looks better than the completely flat bottom did. I hope you found something in this video useful. Until next time, thanks for watching.